Hey guys, so I just primed the oil system for the supercharger and just wanted to show you what I did. Uh, the first thing we did was we unscrewed the top of the oil reservoir and we filled up the, uh, the reservoir to the max line. And then what I went ahead and did was uh, to test that you need to unscrew, you need to screw the uh, cap all the way down and then pull it out and make sure it's right below the max line. Uh, the next thing we did was we tightened this back up. Then you move to the banjo bolt. And what you're going to do is you're going to unscrew this counterclockwise about two revolutions as the instructions say. Again, um, even though the bolts don't mention, certain orientations of the bolt will allow oil to flow into the supercharger. Uh, the banjo bolt is basically a bolt with a head and a hole sticking through it from front to back. Uh, if the hole is not lined up properly like this, Obviously, oil coming in from the line here is not going to be able to go into the supercharger. So what I did was I marked where the holes were with these black Sharpie marks. And you want to make sure that that's in line with the uh, oil lines. And then you want to unscrew this two revolutions and make sure that the oil, uh, the holes in the banjo bolt are in line with the oil line. So this will now be loose. And then for pressurized air, what I went ahead and did was use my tire inflator. I carry this in my car all the time just in case I have a flat and it's powered by a cigarette lighter. So I ran power to uh, my Subaru next door. And then the other end of this came with an adapter which you would typically use maybe to fill up a balloon or a basketball. I put the adapter on there. And when I initially did this, I unscrewed the top. I went ahead and put the pressurized air tip inside and then I wrapped it in a towel as the instructions had mentioned just like this and I actually turned on the compressor and I left it on for about two to three minutes and there was no oil appearing at the banjo bolt on the supercharger uh, so that told me basically that there was a lot of air escaping from the top of the reservoir and this needed a better seal so I found this great item in my kitchen this is typically used for wine this is a wine preserver. You put this on the top and you stick a pump. When you buy this from the store, if you squeeze it, there is an opening down the middle, which goes all the way through. And this is absolutely a perfect fit. Uh, let me show you how this fits here. I went ahead and I put this in. Just like that. Absolutely no uh, loose air on the outside. And then I went ahead and just took my pin and I inserted the pin inside just like this and then we went ahead and turned on the air compressor again and immediately within two to three seconds uh, oil started shooting out of the banjo inlet bolt so what you want to do is you want to keep running this pump even though oil is shooting out and tighten it simultaneously you're going to tighten this banjo bolt all the way back you know maybe just with your hands as tight as you can once it's completely tightened, shut off the air compressor, and then you want to go ahead and get uh, maybe a socket set and realign this banjo bolt so that way the holes on the bolt are in line with the oil line. So just wanted to share a few tips that I found if a lot of you are having a problem with priming the system because oil is not appearing at the bolt, it's probably because you have a lot of air escaping here. I highly recommend uh, getting one of these air compressors. It's a lot cheaper than buying a actual air compressor for the garage. And this is obviously really cheap as well. This cost me 49 cents from Bevmo and a pretty handy tool. I think I'm going to keep this in my toolbox. So anyways, hope that helps.